Okay, we're going to go through some of your display screens for the Schwing Control Technology, or SCT system. So first we'll put it um, in our run position and let the screen initialize. And now when it starts, it will give you a reset request, which is a, an acknowledgement that you're going to start the machine, and it's an audible alarm in case somebody's around the machine, they know you're about to start. So it's asking you to honk the horn and that clears the reset screen. Over here is your hydraulic oil temperature, your engine RPM, and your engine oil pressure. If we go through these, the next screen we arrow over, this will give us the hours of operation of the machine, and these are two stroke counters. Uh, these displays are from the testing we've done initially at the, at the factory. So um, this one's gone 3,690 uh, strokes and was operated for four and a half hours in test. Two, so those are the two main screens that you'll operate in almost all the time. Now if we want to go to um, a diagnostic screen, we push the, oops, sorry, we push the OK, and we can get to some a menu, and this menu is mainly for diagnostics. And you'll see pump codes. These are a lot like engine codes that uh, you might read from your car, but they would be an indicator of some sort of um, error that might be happening. And this would be for diagnostic, diagnostic purposes. These codes are all in your operation manual. So we'll uh, exit out of there. And now here's a separate set of codes for engine codes. These codes are specifically related to the Caterpillar engine. And, right, and again, those codes will be listed. These are, again, for diagnostics. You shouldn't have to operate in this mode. Uh, this is for your PLC input, inputs and outputs. That's the computer that controls the machine. And you can look at these. Each individual point is a different in input and output, and it will, will indicate um, a different function that is happening at that particular time. So again, it's for diagnostics. You shouldn't really need to operate in that mode. Uh, operator keypad. This is a check to ensure, say, for some reason, my, my keypad isn't working. I can check to see if it's actually functioning. If I touch this button, you can see the corresponding button up here, light up green. And it's just, again, for it's not operating anything, it's just diagnostics. And there's also, if I was to plug in the radio or the cable remote, there's the same, same function there. I, I don't have them in right now, so it gives me a red light that says it's not communicating. Um, but if I was to have them plugged in, I could check each one of those button functions the same way. Uh, this is a different, this is mainly for machine setup, and uh, I think we should cover this in just a second. All right, so this part is passcode uh, protected, and it's mainly uh, for machine setup. So, we don't really recommend messing around with this too much, but you can go into these settings if you were um, inclined to do so, I guess. So here's your hydraulic oil temperature. It's telling me it's current temperature. This is the temperature that the oil cooler comes on and the oil cooler goes off and there's a high temperature alarm. We can go and change each one of those settings if we would like. The temperature offset is uh, for room temperature if this oil temperature is not right, we can offset the temperature to the actual temperature. But so is your oil temperature, and this is hydraulic oil temperature temperatures. Here's auto greaser settings. Now it's very important important that uh, you don't turn on the auto greaser settings if you don't have have an auto greaser, because then it will try to look for an auto greaser and give you an error. But this one um, set up for four minutes on, 120 minutes off, and only on when the pump is in forward. 
Now you can change those settings to different times and there's different settings always on or um, uh, always on when the machine's running whatnot. So I can, here, let me just go in here. I don't remember what, always on or on when the pump's in forward. So stroke limiter settings, these really shouldn't be messed with. These are for when we first uh, adjust the machine to get the proper input and output uh, currents. So these currents are set up specifically for your machine. Um, only adjust these if our service tech specifically tells you to. Language, that's self-explanatory. Machine options. So here's your machine options. Uh, again, these are for mainly when we set up the machine. So the green dots indicate what options have been installed on the machine. Please don't turn these other options on um, if you don't, if they're not on the machine, because then the electronics will constantly be, constantly be looking for them and send you error messages. So uh, this machine has a stroke counter uh, and a auto greaser, but there's other options that we would turn on if they were if they were installed on the machine. So that covers the diagnostics and this is back to your initial screen.